Tonight's community leaders are marking the 10 year anniversary of the Flint water crisis with a solidarity rally. It featured guest speakers from organizations that advocate for clean drinking water. Trey Harris spent the evening in Flint and shows us how looking back on the decade is further fueling their mission going forward. People of Flint are strong and they deserve better from their government. Flint residents and community members still searching for justice 10 years after contaminated water poisoned the city. This evening, people from Detroit, Benton Harbor, Three Rivers, and Highland Park came to Flint for a forum on solidarity, sharing their similar journeys through crippling water issues. Some residents like Lathan Jefferson say they understand that resolutions can take time, but he feels people in Flint deserve more than the $626 million settlement. Everybody's been denied, and it's just some other things that still need to be done. In the decades since the start of the water crisis, residents have endured failed prosecutions and experienced extended waits for getting lead service lines replaced. Reflecting on the crisis, former public health advisor Pamela Pugh says it's unfortunate that residents are still fighting to have their voices heard. Ten years later, there are things still yet undone, like pipes that need to be replaced, interior home fixtures that need to be replaced, that um, it, lawsuits have not been resolved, and that there were no criminal charges. Organizers say they intended the forum to reignite the movement to bring justice to Flint residents. We're Flintstones. We fight. We don't like injustice. Claire McClinton says she commends her hometown for its resiliency. She and the Democracy Defense League are promoting new laws that help protect access to water. We want legislation that makes it illegal for private companies to purchase the water or the water, water assets or the water rights of municipalities. Calling the situation an erosion of trust in Flint government, Pew says the work of people in Flint has helped lay the groundwork for safer water in other communities. We cannot let Flint be forgotten, not here in the city, not in this state, not in our U.S. government. In Flint, Trey Harris, WNEM TV5.